Herons, of course, are no strangers to BC's coastline, and they were among the countless seabirds and other marine wildlife that suffered the effects of the Exxon Valdez oil spill in Alaska more than two decades ago. Now, thanks to some cutting edge software, any future coastal oil spill disasters may not be as devastating. The system provides emergency response crews with access to high resolution video and photos of the Alaskan coastline. And very soon, data from BC and California may also be incorporated in the system to help clean up the next tanker spill or leak, such as the one right now in the Gulf of Mexico. A huge oil slick is threatening Louisiana's coast in what could be the worst spill in U.S. history. In North Saanich, two island-based companies are building an emergency response mapping engine for coastal oil spills off Alaska, B.C., and California. The software was developed by Clover Point Cartographers of Victoria in conjunction with Coastal and Ocean Resources based in North Saanich. Just thinking to the Louisiana situation, you have thousands of people working on that spill right now, and they're all trying to make decisions. Being able to look at the shoreline that you're worried about and have that as a common ground for making these decisions uh, is really important. John Harper is a marine geologist with Coastal and Ocean Resources. The company is working with the U.S. government to map the entire coastline from Alaska to California. The work is part of the Alaska Shore Zone Coast Mapping Program, a partnership that includes scientists, web specialists, and various agencies who came together in response to the Exxon Valdez oil spill. You take that information, put it into maps, and that's what your response planners use for developing a response in the event of a spill. This software allows users to dynamically manage terabytes of data, very large amounts of information, including hundreds of hours of video. Essentially what you're seeing right now is, is Google Street View for the shore zone. I mean, really we're pulling in the, the video side. We've got high-res photography, uh, the audio from the geologist and the biologist, the map where it's all being displayed in real time. So if anything actually happens on the shore, First, they have the baseline data of what's existed there, you know, when they, when they flew this initially, and then they also have all the information for, you know, where do I land a crew? The system is intended to help groups who are working to capture a historical record of the coast for reference use with climate change research as well as environmental incident response. Data from BC exists, but it hasn't been incorporated into the system yet. In North Saanich, Eric Thompson, A News.